Hi everyone, there's some Skull Busters, and today I'm going to be showing you an F40 tune that's got 800 pp. You might be thinking, oh yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Well, it's also got this. Oh yes, 800 pp never sounded so good. So you will need the Enzo engine to get this going. And we are going to tune it to high heaven. I know it's a sin. I'd hesitated to do it. But it's worth it. It means that you can use this car for money grinding. Which is just an absolute godsend if you ask me. There are two ways you can tune this car. You can either tune it with racing mediums or racing hards. I went for mediums. It felt easier. It felt a lot uh, more stable. So... It's up to you which one you go for. The racing hard one does give you more front down force and lets you turn in that little bit harder. So, you're going to want racing medium tyres. You want a fully customisable suspension from the tuning shop and then you want to set the ride height to 80 and 95. 4 and 6 on the anti-roll bars. On the compression, we're going for 30 at the front and 35 at the rear. On the expansion, you're going to want 40 on both. On the natural frequency, you want 3.14 on both. Negative camber angle, you're going to want 3. And then the toe angle, you're going to want 0 0.05 on toes out on the front. And then toes in and the back, 0 0.2. You need a fully customisable diff. And you want to set the initial torque to 10. You may even want to tune that higher just to control the spin out. And then you want 5 and 5 for the acceleration and braking. Downforce, 150 at the front, 400 at the back. Fully customisable ECU from the shop, set that to 99. Fully customisable racing transmission, set that to 340. You could bring it down to 320, but it's just whether it kicks out the back end too much. Uh, normal air cleaner, racing silencer, racing exhaust manifold, you're going to want racing brakes all around, you want a brake balance controller and you want to set that to 3 and that will help with any understeer, under braking. In terms of tuning, you want bore up, engine balancing, polished ports, high lift camshaft, whatever that is, uh, racing camshaft, high compression pistons and all the weight reductions and body rigidity so let's get into strategy at the fastest lap so this is the fastest lap i do in the race it's going to be a 136 and what we're going to want to do is break at the 200 meter mark on the first corner bring the car right down to a stop coasting round in second gear bring it up to third just steady on the power as it comes through the first bend of the chicane then full power as you come through the second break it at the 50 meter mark again Letting the car roll around the corner, better power, and then slowing it down to first. Bring it up to second before you accelerate, and then accelerate down to the next corner. Again, going to brake around the 50 meter mark, bringing it to second. Just letting the car roll around the corner, and then putting on the power as soon as you can see that barrier. Taking it all the way down to the hairpin at the bottom. So the brakes on this car are as good as the current cars. So you're going to want to brake around the 200 meter mark. Bring the car to almost to a stop. Let it roll around the corner. In second gear, accelerate out. Taking it up to the next chicane. Now for this chicane, you're going to want a little tap on the brakes before you get into the corner. Bring it down to third. And then another tap on the brakes before the next part of the chicane. Keeping it close to the barrier on the left and then accelerate out once you pass the barrier. Break between the 100 and 150 meter mark for the final hairpin and then just like roll around and accelerate outwards. Again, making sure you're in second gear and not first so you don't get that fishtail motion going. Just take your foot off the gas for the final corner. Um, you can't take it flat out, you'll end up in the barrier. And that gives me a 136.2. Surprisingly, I'd never made a better lap than this, but when I did look at me optimal towards the end, it was a 135.8, so plenty of room for improvement there, especially if you look at lap times on the right, 137s, 138s. So, fuel map 6 all the way around, there's no strategy to it, two stops, and uh, you should beat them by about 50 seconds. So, there you have it. 
800 PP, never sounded so good, and neither did the money grind. It's good fun, give it a go. If you do like it, leave a like, and if you want to see any other cars, just let us know. We'll see you all next time. Adios.